The Kim Zolciak and Croy Beerman divorce battle is heating up and Croy just wants Kim to sign off. The couple seemed like they might be reconciling earlier this year, but it sounds like they are beyond repair now. Croy has even called for an emergency hearing, but it isn't known if the former Real Housewives of Atlanta star will show up. Here is what Croy wants done and why it is so important. Croy Beerman has realized that time is running out on his and Kim's chances of getting out of debt. According to Croy, the couple is over a million dollars in debt, and there is only one way to get out from under that debt before it is too late. They have to sell their Georgia mansion. They have been barely making their mortgage payments recently, and it has almost been foreclosed. If the bank repossesses the mansion, the couple can't sell it, and then they will still owe all their debt with no way to pay it off. Croy said that he needs Kim to sign off on selling the mansion immediately, or they could risk losing everything. Interestingly, Kim said on camera that it was her idea to sell the mansion via TMZ. However, it seems that she has never signed off on it and Croy has called for an emergency court meeting to get it done. According to Croy's attorney, Marley's aide Bergstrom, if the couple doesn't sell the mansion fast, they will lose it and the rest of their bill collectors will keep coming for them. This would not only hurt Croy and Kim, but also their four children who still live with them in the mansion. If Kim Zolciak signs off on the mansion sale, the two can finally pay the bills that they owe and then move forward with their divorce with what is left over. The problem is that, while Kim Zolciak said it was her idea, Croy's attorney said that she has never signed off on the sale and the longer they wait, the more danger they are in of losing the mansion to the banks. Croy has gone to the courts and asked them to make Kim meet him halfway. He requested that a judge give him permission directly to sell it if Kim wouldn't sign off on it. Bergstrom said the court hearing wouldn't be necessary if Kim Zolciak would sign off to sell the Georgia mansion. He said that Croy just wants to do what is best for their kids. However, while Croy is in Georgia trying to get this taken care of, Kim is in Los Angeles right now. What are your thoughts on the situation between Kim Zolciak and Croy Bierman? Is it about time that they finally got rid of their mansion and moved on with their separate lives? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.